Hi there, I'm Alistair Christie and this is another video for LearnWindows.tv. This time we're going to take a look at Windows Calculator, which in Windows 7 got a large number of enhancements, which I'm going to show you now. We'll start by firing up or searching for Windows Calculator. We've got two options. Uh, this is the sort of new Windows 8 full screen one and uh, this is the desktop calculator, which is the one we'll use. And it's basically a standard calculator. Um, 1 plus 2 equals 3. And that's very good. Um, you're probably familiar with uh, most of the functionality. You know, we can make it negative. Um, so backspace, and of course you can use the keyboard as well, which is even easier. There's two clear buttons. Uh, there's clear entry and clear completely. So that takes us back to the start. But if we go 1 plus 6, and we didn't mean to do that, we can go clear entry and um, enter the value we want. I'll also briefly mention, mention these uh, memory functions because uh, not a lot of people um, are familiar with them. Um, they're basically memory clear, memory recall, memory save, and memory plus and minus. So we can save a value uh, into memory and we can see that it, there is a value saved and if we clear we can bring it back with memory recall and then I could add 36 to that and then save that and now when I bring that back we have 40. I could in, in, enter a value here, I can go memory plus and another value memory minus and we've got the, um, our new value in memory and we can clear what's in memory. So that's probably um, an overview of the basic functionality. Let's have a look at some more of the advanced features. Next up I want to show you the uh, copy and paste functionality. So we've got 59 here in our um, screen and I can copy that, bring up notepad and paste that in. I can then take a value, copy it, plus paste equals 64. Um, I could then take, well I could take that value, control C, control V, using the shortcut keys. So that's basic uh, copy and paste functionality, which is something I use quite a lot with the calculator, I uh, find it quite handy. There are also some more powerful calculators. If I go view scientific, we see we get a whole bunch of trigonomic and um, sort of other functions via factorial. 120, 120 factorial is huge. Um, and what if we'll do it once more? No, nope, too big. Um, and there is a programming calculator. Um, go from decimal 25 and binary is that um, and we can see this sort of uh, the various um, what it looks like in memory which you probably don't need to know about unless you're a programmer and there's various um, operations if we go not on that and that's what the negation of that binary value looks like as a uh, quad word There's also the statistical calculator, and we can uh, go 1, add 2, add 3. And so we've got now three values, and I can give the average of those, which is 2, um, the sum, the square, and so on. I can go and edit one of those values, and then recalculate. I've got a uh, new average and what have you. Um, and this data set um, thing becomes available. What I can do, uh, let's clear it all and then bring up Notepad again and take those six values, copy them and paste them into there. Um, just need to go add once more. There we go, so we get all six, six values in there. 
and we can calculate the average being 3.5 and so on and sigma n whatever that is um, uh, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done statistics at school and um, we can also uh, copy the data set and paste it into something else if we wanted to and we'll go back to standard another nice little feature is that um, when the numbers get quite large it's helpful to turn on the digit grouping which puts commas in or whatever is appropriate for your locale so that can be quite handy as well in addition to the sort of calculation functionality um, we can do things like unit conversion so I could say an area 5 acres in hectares or um, what's 33 degrees Celsius in degrees Fahrenheit so that's quite quite handy for converting any to any kind of unit um, date calculations so if I go grab December 25 we can see that there are 93 days till Christmas, three months, two days. Um, or from today, if I want to add three months, six days, we get it's the 29th of December. And also, there are some worksheets, and I'll just bring up the mortgage one. So we can say if we buy a house for $356,000. Uh, we put 25,000 down, um, 25 year term at 5.23% uh, or something. We can see that our monthly payment is $1,980 basically, about two grand. Um, we can change these numbers around, so if we can increase our monthly payment to say two and a half thousand, we drop our term down from 25 to 16 and a half years. Or if we could manage to afford a $3,000 month monthly payment, we could pay off our mortgage in uh, just over 12 and a half years. The other worksheets are not as interesting, but um, still, still handy. Um, so that's pretty much the functionality of the desktop calculator. Uh, so let's now take a look at the um, full screen calculator that's new to Windows 8. If we go start and bring up the full screen calculator, uh, we can see we've got a much more touch friendly calculator, but it's not as full featured. So 5 times 6 equals. Um, plus 9, so you can uh, type on the keyboard as well. Uh, we have a scientific calculator, uh, so we don't have the programmer or statistical calculator, but we do get the converter, and I can convert 7 teaspoon, teaspoons into 34.5 millilitres, uh, and we get some other values there. Um, go energy, 7 joules is uh, not very many calories. Um, foot pounds. I actually don't know what that is, but um, and that's a lot of electron volts. <laughs> so that's the uh, full screen calculator. Um, uh, much much more useful if you're using a tablet, but the desktop one is um, sort of my go-to calculator for sort of everyday tasks. As always, thanks for watching, and remember, if you found this tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm Alistair Christie for LearnWindows.tv.